Hey, it's Paige. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can create a glitter texture in Photoshop, and then I'm gonna show you a couple ways that we can use that glitter texture and add it to text or shapes, just like this. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new document, and we're gonna make this document 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels and 300 DPI. And we're gonna go ahead and click Create. Now the next thing that we wanna do is we want to add a new layer to this and we're gonna go up to Edit, Fill, and we're gonna add 50% gray. So um, you would just select 50% gray from the menu and go ahead and click OK. So now you have your layer. You can rename this layer if you want, but you don't really need to. Um, but I'll just name it glitter. Now we're going to go to filter and we're going to open the filter gallery and we're going to add grain. So you want to go to texture in the filter gallery and then select grain. You want to make sure that your grain type is sprinkles and then I have my intensity set at 60% and I have my contrast set at 50%. You can play around with these values because different values will give you a different looking texture for your glitter, but this is where I'm going to have it for this tutorial. Then you're gonna go ahead and click OK. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to Filter and we're gonna go down to Pixelate and we are going to go to Crystallize. We're gonna choose three for our cell size and we're going to go ahead and click OK. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this glitter layer. So we can do that by pressing Command J if you have a Mac or Control J if you have a PC and that's going to duplicate the layer. So now you see that we have here it says glitter copy. We're going to go back to the filter and I'm going to go to pixelate again and instead of the cell size being 3 we're going to change it to 6 and we're going to click OK. I'm going to change my blend mode to multiply. So where it says normal, we want it to say multiply. And now we're going to rotate this layer by 90 degrees. We're going to press Command T on our keyboard if we have a Mac or Control T if we have a PC. And we are going to go up here in the angle and we're going to change the rotation angle to 90 degrees. So we just rotated this layer by 90 degree, 90 degree um, rotation. So now what we want to do is we want to make a second copy of this layer. So we're going to go to, we're going to press Command J or Control J again here. And we are going to go to Filter again. And we are going to go to Pixelate and then Crystallize. And so now instead of 6, we're going to change this to 9. And we're going to click OK. And now we're going to rotate this again. So we're going to press Command T or Control T if you have a PC. We're going to change the rotation to 90 degrees. And there you have it. So by changing uh, the crystallization cell size, what we've done is we've created kind of a, um, a nice bit of texture. So this is our glitter here. Now what we want to do is we want to merge these three glitter layers. So we're going to click on the first layer. Then we're going to press shift down on our keyboard, click on the last layer. So we have all three of those selected. Then on our keyboard, we're going to press Command E if we have a Mac or Control E if we have a PC. So now you have your glitter layer here, and you can rename this just glitter if you want, so it doesn't say glitter copy too. So we have our glitter layer. Now from here, we can do a couple different things, and I'm gonna show you two ways that we can add this to text like I showed you here. So the first way that we can add this to text is to colorize our glitter right here. So we would make the glitter the color that we want it. So we're gonna to go to our layer styles down here where it says FX, and we're going to go to color overlay. You want the blend mode to be color, and then from here you can choose any color that you want for your glitter. So if you wanted it to be green, you could choose green, purple, whatever color you want. And you can kind of play around and see how that colors your glitter. So let's just make a nice blue glitter. I like that. So we're gonna click OK here. We're gonna click OK here. So now we have our blue gl glitter and what we can do is we can go to File, Quick Export as PNG 
and we can save this as blue glitter. And then just go ahead and click save. And then what we can do is we can create a new document. And we would make it whatever size we want. And then we would add our text or shape to our document. So I'm just going to add some text here that says glitter. And then I'm also going to add a shape. Here I'm going to use the custom shape tool. And let's just do, we'll do this paw print. <clears throat> and I'll show you how we can add the, the um, glitter to these. So what we would do is we'd select the, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the glitter. I'm going to add glitter to this first. So I'm going to go to File, Place Embedded. I'm going to choose the glitter color that I want. I'm going to click Place. You can see that it's covered everything. I'm going to go ahead and press this check mark. Now what I want to do so it's just showing over the glitter is I'm going to create what's called a clipping mask. So we're going to right click on our layer and we're going to go to create clipping mask. So now the glitter is clipped just to the text here. And I can do the same thing with the shape. So I can select my shape and I can go to file, place embedded. We'll choose the other color here. And we'll go ahead and we will press the check mark and create a clipping mask. And now we have our glitter clipped to the paw shape as well. So that's one way that you can add any kind of texture. So watercolor te texture, glitter texture, anything that you would find um, or maybe find online that you would buy that's a texture and you want to add it to something. That's one way to do it is by cl creating a clipping mask. The next way that you can do it is by creating a pattern. So I'm going to actually, we're going to go back here to our glitter and I'm going to show you how to make your glitter into a seamless pattern that you can add. And I'll show you what that looks like. So if we go to our FX and instead of doing a color overlay, if we do a pattern overlay, you can actually um, make glitter patterns and add them to your documents. So here is a glitter pattern here and we can add the shapes and um, you can uh, you can add all kinds of um, things. So if you make seamless patterns you can actually add them that way and then you don't have to worry about the clipping mask. So let me show you how that works. Alright so now I'm back at my glitter and I have this color overlay here but I want to get rid of this so I'm actually going to right click on here and we're going to go to a clear layer style. So that's going to make just this gray pattern. And then we'll be able to color this once we add this gray pattern glitter to our shape or our text, we'll be able to color. And I'll show you how we'll do that. But first we want to make this seamless. And the reason we want to make it seamless is we don't, if we add it to something that's actually bigger than the uh, 1200 pixels by the 1200 pixels, we want it to not have lines in it. So we're going to go up to filter and we're going to go to other and we're going to go to offset. We're going to set our offset to 600 by 600 pixels and this is going to make sure that our document is split down the middle and um, perfectly. And then we want to make sure that it's set to wrap around and we're going to go ahead and click OK. So we can kind of zoom in here and you can see that there are some lines here going down the center of our pattern and we don't want that. So what we're going to do is we are going to use the clone stamp tool and we are just going to get rid of the seams that go down the middle. So we're going to select this area here and we're just going to get rid of the seam that goes down the middle of our pattern. You don't want to do a lot because you don't want um, you don't want the repeating pattern to look weird. So just you know kind of keep sampling and you also don't want it to be blurry. So um, just kind of sample and get rid of any areas where you see the seam. And once that looks good, you can actually test it again by going to offset and doing the same thing and just making sure that you don't see any of the seams. 
and that looks pretty good. So now we have this um, glitter here, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Edit, Define Pattern, and we can just call this, you know, Glitter Texture, and click OK. So now we have this glitter texture that we can add to anything. So now I'm going to go back to our document here where we have our shape and our, our text. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on this and we're going to go to Pattern Overlay. And we can add that gray pattern here. So it looks like silver glitter. But let's say we also want to add a color overlay to it too. We can select Color Overlay now and we can change the color. So it's going to do both the pattern and the color and we're able to change it. And if we wanted to take it a step further, we could also add a bevel emboss to it. <clears throat> Let me just zoom in here so you can see. We can go to bevel emboss and we can add a little bit of We can add a little bit of a bevel to it so it looks like the glitter is actually three-dimensional like glitter would be. And click OK. So by making a pattern, it actually makes it a little easier because you don't have to find you don't have to save a bunch of different colors of glitter. You can do it right here in Photoshop. So let's do that again with the shape. So let's go to our FX or layer styles, and we're going to go to pattern overlay. I'll zoom in again. So we're going to add that gray pattern. Then we're going to add a color overlay and we can choose any color that we want. And then if we want to, optionally, we can add that bevel um, to it just to make the glitter look three-dimensional like glitter would. If you were, you know, putting glue and then, you know, covering it with glitter, it would have a little bit of dimension to it. And then just clicking OK. Another thing that you can do with um, the layer styles is you can actually copy one layer style onto another layer. So let's say we want this glitter to look exactly the same as our paw print. What we would do is we would right click on here. We would go to copy layer style and then we click on our glitter and we'd go to paste layer style. And so now the glitter has the same color as that. And the nice thing about this when you have the, the, um, the pattern overlay like this is when you resize, like if I were to resize this, um, it kind of, you know, it moves around with it. And so you don't have to um, worry about, you know, changing that clipping mask or anything. So that is how you make glitter and how you can add patterns and textures to your text in a couple different types of ways. I hope that helped and stay tuned for the next tip. Thanks. Bye.